Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Oscar and in this video I wanted to talk about these trail runners, which are the Decathlon Evadict MT2 trail runners. I basically just finished hiking 8 to 900 kilometers with these trail runners. And yeah, in this video I'll tell you like basically how well they held up. Actually, I have two pairs of these trail runners because my girlfriend hiked with identical trail runners basically. So initially I wanted to buy more expensive trail runners. I think I wanted to buy the Salomon XA20 trail runners which cost like 120 euros or something. But then I went into a Decathlon store and you know I noticed these ones which cost just 67 euros. So oh, yeah I basically tried them on. The thread on them was perfect. They were very very comfortable like from day one. And you know, I just decided to try these ones because they're like half of what I initially wanted to pay. But my girlfriend also needed good hiking shoes because she would also be joining me on the through hike for the first two weeks. So this model is also available for women, but from what I could tell, they were basically identical. The only difference was that, you know, even though they're identical, the women's model cost like 10 euros more expensive. So she tried on basically the man's uh, model in her size and it was perfect for her as well. So yeah, we both hiked in identical shoes. And yeah, mine are definitely in a much worse condition than hers because she hiked about 300 kilometers with them and I did like much more. But now let's talk about the durability and how well they basically held up for the whole hike. For the first 100 kilometers, I noticed that they're starting to tear on each shoe, basically on the inner part, like this padding near the ankle. That happens on all of my shoes. And it's because I place my feet when I'm walking too close together and occasionally they're rubbing against each other. Yeah, that happens on all of my shoes. Uh, it's just visual and, you know, nothing crazy. At about 300 kilometers, one hole basically ripped on, I believe it was my right leg first. Oh no, it was on my left leg first because it's, it's much bigger here. Uh, but yeah, I ended the hike and the hole still isn't like fully through the whole shoe so it isn't perfect but you know they did last and they didn't break now as for my girlfriend's shoe i can see that yeah this hole is definitely starting to appear and after maybe one or two hundred kilometers she'll also have this hole so yeah if you're using these shoes expect them basically to have holes over here. I have them on both of my shoes basically. Another defect that started happening after about 500 kilometers was that uh, this bottom part where the laces go through basically started ripping apart. They're attached with more laces that are integrated within the shoe over here and yeah just from rubbing from friction basically they started tearing. At first it was just one side then another and then the same thing happened on my second shoe and you know I finished the hike without lacing the bottom part. So all of the defects that I mentioned before were basically just cosmetic. However, there's one defect that's definitely affected the performance of the shoe. So after about 300 kilometers, I started noticing that if I'd step like on any rocks, on any sharp rocks over here, I could feel them pushing through to my toes basically. At first it was okay, it was manageable, but after about five to 600 kilometers, I could feel like every sharp rock that I stepped on over here and I just went through to my feet and you know if I'd be just hiking for a day or two like it wouldn't be such a bad issue but because I was through hiking I was wearing them every day my toes basically started hurting uh, in these parts so yeah that's like my only real issue with this shoe is that like after 500 kilometers if you'll be continuously through hiking with it you know you damage your feet so you'll probably end up just switching to a new pair every five or six hundred kilometers. But yeah, for my girlfriend, she didn't experience any of those issues and basically her shoe still looks pretty much intact after 300 kilometers. There are no holes, no rips, the sole is still very good and you know, for the first 500 kilometers, the shoes were like, they performed extremely well. Now let's talk about the traction on these shoes. They theoretically have like five millimeter lug depth. However, my shoes have definitely worn down over here in the middle. For her, there's like two or three millimeters left. And for me, like in some places, it's like one millimeter basically. When I first started my hike, the traction on them was pretty good actually. They didn't slip mostly anywhere. 
but you know after three to five hundred kilometers I noticed that they aren't as good on gravel anymore and whenever the trail got wet if it was raining or I was I just like passed a stream I noticed that the traction got much much worse in terms of weight I have the size 10 model and they weigh about 340 grams for each shoe I believe I also have the Solomon Speedcross 4 trail runners and I have these Merrill Mobvent 2 hiking shoes. So these massive hiking shoes weigh 440 grams, these ones 330 I believe, and these ones 340. So I'd say in terms of weight, it's somewhere in the middle. Now let's talk about the comfort, which is like the main reason why I bought this hiking shoe. Um, yeah, so I finished 800 plus kilometers with this shoe and I'd still continue using it because even though it's like completely worn down, it's still very comfortable. Like, I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like this shoe is like perfectly shaped for my feet. The toe box is very wide. My toes didn't, weren't like squished together. I think the padding is like perfect all around. And you know, it's a very comfortable shoe. For protection, it also has this like protective cover in the front and in the back as well. And you know, whenever I hit a rock, I didn't like damage my toes, which is pretty good. Now in terms of rain resistance, this shoe basically doesn't have any rain resistance. Instead, it's pretty breathable. I didn't sweat in these shoes and I didn't like develop bad odors. However, one issue that I did notice is that if you'd be hiking in rain, or if you'd accidentally step into a puddle, like for the next few hours, you wouldn't dry off basically. And you know, these shoes became very like squishy <laughs> after that. It develops kind of like a bathtub <laughs> underneath the shoe. And whenever it gets wet, it doesn't like dry out, um, which wasn't perfect, but you know, I wasn't hiking in rain that much. So it didn't bother me that much. Some other things that I wanted to mention is the laces at the first, maybe 300, or 500 kilometers, the laces were pretty much perfect. Like straight from day one, they didn't untie by themselves. You know, they're made from this like flat, pretty flexible fabric. But I think eventually like they kind of seized up and from all the dust and rain and everything, they would start like untying by themselves. So after I think 500 kilometers, I basically ended up uh, doing double knots like every day. Another thing that I wanted to mention is that I didn't get a single blister during the whole through hike. And my girlfriend also didn't get a single blister from like two weeks of through hiking. And I think it was partly due to this shoe and partly because of the socks I was wearing. I hiked with the silver light merino wool hiking socks and you know, they were pretty much perfect. And I think they were the main reason why I didn't get any blisters. Yeah, I'm just in love with these socks. And I know it sounds weird, but I am in love with these socks. <laughs> Maybe it's also because of this shoe, because it, as I already said, it has plenty of padding. It is like perfect for my feet. Um, so yeah, in terms of blisters, very good performance. And now let's get into the final verdict. So would I buy this hiking shoe again? Yeah, definitely I would. I think it's a very good like through hiking shoe actually, which isn't talked about. Like I haven't heard other people through hiking with this shoe, but like for 67 euros that I paid for it. And actually you can get them even cheaper if you get them on a sale. I've read online that some people bought them for like 30 to 40 euros. For that price, this is definitely a very good shoe. Like you can buy a good hiking shoe, like the Ultras cost, I think 150 euros, which is like insane compared to this one. And you know, in terms of performance, they perform really similarly. They're incredibly comfortable. Like I didn't get any blisters. The traction is very good. Uh, you know, they're breathable. You know, I think it's a very good through hiking shoe. The only downside is that after five to 600 kilometers, you'll probably need to switch to a new pair. So take for instance, my girlfriend, she hiked with me for two weeks. I think she did about 300 kilometers with them and they're still pretty much perfect. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in one of my next videos. I hope this video helped you out. Bye.